Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sailor at Plans. My name is Jessica, thank you so much for joining me here today. And today, I have a sort of washi video suggestion to show you. So this is my washi tape collection. If you're interested in the following tips for washi, keep watching. Okay, so this is like all of my washi that I own with the exception of two rolls. I have a solid stripe washi tape that are pastel colors and then some Harry Potter washi that I can't find at the moment. So this is everything that I own except for those two. So I have no idea where they are. I tried looking for them for a little bit, but anyways, let's just jump into this video. In this box is my least used washi, actually. I feel like I should kind of, it should be the other way around. I feel like I should put some of these in here. I definitely need some organization tips. It's kind of hard to organize on a sailboat, especially because spaces aren't like perfectly square. They're very angular or rounded. So it's very hard to store things and definitely have to think outside of the box, literally when like storing things on a boat. So it's hard for me to describe, <laughs> but moving on. So. So if you're starting out, everybody says it, but it's true, you guys. Don't go crazy buying washi tape. Then you're going to be stuck with an entire collection that you don't use. So I'm going to pull out some examples here. Like, I would say stay away from dark washi. Like, I think I've only used this like once. This moon phases, these dark anchors. This is all part of the same. So like even this has um, paint splatter, which I don't use really. And it's quite dark. And then I really wanted like unicorn washi, but then I didn't like the design. So that's another thing I want to like touch on is stay away from like busy, busy designs. It's okay on um, thicknesses. I feel like it's okay to have a variety of thicknesses, like like wider washi versus like versus like this kind of washi that's super thin. So let me swatch what I have here so far and uh, show you what I mean. All right, I'm just gonna grab this piece of paper and show you what I mean. So here I have this washi. Like I think designs are cute but they're not very practical. So unless you aren't really using stickers very much in your planners and want the focus to be on the washi tape, then okay to buy some with designs. I know they're cute and I'm definitely a sucker for design washi. Okay, that wasn't like the most perfect swatch, but this is cute and all, but when am I going to use this? This is from Amazon. Here's another one that I bought from a mixed media store and it's dark. Uh, so here I'm talking about designs, avoid designs. Here I will suggest not to buy any dark washi like this one. And like, I think the concept of this is cute with the moons, but how often are you going to use, you know, dark moons, right? Like this is dark. These anchors I mentioned are dark as well. I don't really pull for them, even though, you know, I have a nautical lifestyle. So there we go. And then I also mentioned this washi with designs on it like i i feel like i don't like the design very much on this one actually it's very cartoonish definitely i feel like it's more for children <laughs> you know what i mean like it's on that cartoony level of like kids type you know which sometimes i like but most of the time i don't and like this like this is too cutesy for me I am a unicorn. Though I think this design is prettier than this moon, for example, with the holographic, these washies, like I said, are from Paper Geek Studio. Um, and they are of nicer quality. It's super velvety. 
I just don't pull for this, you know. Maybe it's the color itself, like it's a light enough color, but the fact that it's like moons, uh, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't pull for it. Here's another one like this. I hope you can see that, but let's see what else. I, so those are some examples of washi that I feel like you shouldn't get, especially when you're starting out. And even if you're like not starting out, I feel like you probably have learned your lesson by now, but I have here from Notebook Therapy. This was part of my haul, I believe, earlier this year or the end of last year or something like that. I can't recall, probably earlier this year. Now these washies are neutral, which I can foresee myself using. So, but this one, for example, has like a really busy background and I will show you what I mean. I don't know, I don't really foresee myself using this kind of washi very much, but I do love this. You know, this has like writing on it, like this. I'm running out of swatch room, but you know, it has cute dainty writing from the notebook therapy. This one, I couldn't help myself, is called uh, Dark Academia. This one's Light Academia, and Dark Academia is very dark. And I don't know why I got, I mean, I know why I got it. I got it for this washi right here. That was my sole reason. But these are like super dark and I just, in reality, do not foresee myself using, you know, like solid dark. Like look how dark that is. I mean, it's cute, but, and now this kind of washi is a pet washi, which looks like a Fuji film, which actually reminds me, I should try using this with the new Wrong Wrong sticker book the Amber Allure. I think this will be really cool actually. So now I have a reason to use this washi but this is like super dark and uh, in terms of design I feel like realistic looking so either too cartoony or too realistic is probably a no-go. You know like this is very realistic and it for realistic washi I feel like you have to go for a certain kind of vibe you know and um, most of the time your spreads aren't going to be very realistic, right? And you're also not creating a spread for a three-year-old, right? So, I mean, unless that's your style, right? It, it depends. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of those washies. I do want to go over, I should grab a new piece of paper, but I do want to go over some washies that are good to buy for the beginners. Um, they might not be fun and exciting, but I definitely feel like you should stick with these. So here we go. Okay, I have a new piece of paper. So I already pulled this one out. This one's from Paper Minty Studio. I love dainty writing. I feel like this is maybe not a must, but definitely if you want like more romantic or soft and feminine feeling spreads, I feel like you should go for writing like this. The only problem with this is the background. It is taupe. So I would suggest a white background like this one. From this roll I got from Amazon and it's like a vintage roll. I have maps in here and old writing. But this is the one that I want to focus on. Basically, it's like similar scripture writing, except that the background on this one is white. See? And I feel like this is better for beginners, a little bit more beginner friendly than the background with the taupe. I feel like the plainer, the better, right? Because that will allow for more versatility in um, matching with your stickers. The next thing I want to go over that you should probably buy are grid. So these are also from Amazon. Most of my washi are either going to be from Amazon or um, Amanda Michelle. She's a small shop owner. So do check her out. Most of my washi are from there. And these are not, you know, fun by any means. They don't look fun, right? In comparison to the stuff with the designs, 
designs are fun but are difficult to use guys and the reality is you're not going to use them because it's going to be busy on your spread so like here's this you know nice taupey color grid pink you know these are all either grid or plaid actually i would say this set is plaid so definitely get yourself grid and plaid sets like these here's some basic grid patterns these are black regular old black which is i don't really pull for it very much to be honest but i'm happy that i have it so there's a lot of cat fur on this but here's plain grid for example and then here is a plaid which i think is fun for fall actually right here i think that's a cute combo and you can layer a lot as well i wish i could find my solid washi they're my only solid washies that i have in color and they would be great to layer so if you had like a solid washi and did like grid or something like this would look super cute so grid and plaid is a must okay next i'm gonna go for polka dots here i have this spotty dotty from according to ali and another spotty from according to ali as well and then this one is from amazon and then this one is from amanda michelle designs maste tape very good quality tape here i just want to show you i i feel like i should get another one of according to ali's washi but i'm not going to because i feel like it's excessive but this is gold with a clear background and just matches literally everything you can definitely layer with this here is another one this one has a solid background but it's soft enough that you can also do some layering so i'll layer over here you know even with grid and dots you can layer as well like that here is a different kind of spots they just go so well with anything and everything these basic patterns just go and complement your spread and then these ones are like you know more of a pattern and these ones are more sporadic like more spots more like terrazzo feeling so these are some examples of washi that i have for spots moving on to the next suggestion okay so i did find some solids that were in my clear bag but here's like this solid lilac lavender baby lavender type periwinkle <laughs> color um super cute i love it so much here's this yellow and then this one i got from live love posh this is like stripes and it's purple and it's cute and basic and simple. So you want to, like I keep saying, stay basic. So I'm going to do some layering here. Look how cute that looks. I really like that. And if you want to do some layering like that, but here it is on its own. That's what it looks like on its own right there. And if you're going to go for designs, I feel like you should go basic like i keep saying so i love these hexagons uh shape they're very simple and the color is you know neutral so this is from according to ali i have more hexagon shapes like this one for example also from according to ali and you can do some fun layering with it again like this like that's really cute actually like lots of layering you see what i mean like that's fun to me when you get to layer a solid with writing and hexagons like that's super cute and this design is very basic it's just solid orange oily flower like a foily orange flower like that is super cute you know I've had this washi for so long I got it from Amazon or no I got it from Walmart and I also think this one was from Walmart basic confetti design solid blue you know it has like triangle shapes 
This one is from No White Space Stickers. She has a lot of Disney stuff, a lot of Disney washi and stickers and all of that. Super cute things. This one is a little bit, now we're starting to get a little bit, you know, heavier on the design, but I feel like it's still simple enough, you know. This is like a gingerbread type with uh, Mickey heads and sprinkles. So super cute. Even this thin washi is, you know, pink and white stripes like this with silver Mickey heads reflected, like silver hollow Mickey heads. Very easy to layer these as well. Now this is like part of my newer collection, uh, Heidi Swap. They're not, I will say, they're not like of the best quality but you know how I said about that this anchor this dark anchor this one oh yeah I had it swatched so this dark anchor I like this one because it's like on a it looks like a yellow background like a tan color with gold accents and this is way more versatile than this. And it's literally the same anchor. I wonder how it looks like um, layered. Just want to see. Huh. Okay. I was just curious. That didn't layer well. You know, and it's good to just play around with your stash like that. So, um... I have a few designs here from Paper Minty Studio mostly and maybe one Amanda Michelle. These are some darker colors with simple designs. I suggest definitely grabbing some craft looking washi as it goes with a lot of spreads in my humble opinion. So like this one has like dainty outlined leaves which I love. This one is like a burnt orange with simple stars like that. This one has a beautiful green color with dainty daisies on there. So like this. All right. And then I'm going to flip this. I have some random notes, but I'll flip it. Uh, this one is black and white with stars like that. And then this one is like a blue background with stars as well. So that's basically it, you guys. These are my suggestions. So let me know what you think about this video. That's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. If you enjoyed this video, pretty please give this video a thumbs up so that I gain some traction. If you aren't already, please consider subscribing. It is free after all. And I hope to catch you all in the next one. Bon voyage.